Hello, I'm Rudy Severins, and welcome to my office. Uh, I'm writing a book on s the design of snubber circuits for power electronics. Uh, in fact, the book's title will be Snubber Circuits for Power Electronics. And uh, what I'd like to do now is to share with you uh, the contents of one of the chapters so that you can get a really good feeling for what this book is all about. What we have is very simple inductor capacitor diode snubber very very common circuit widely used in the dissipative version of this normally you'll have a resistor which goes from this point up to this point okay and that's a power dissipator so what we've done is we've replaced that resistor all right with two diodes and a capacitor which allows us to, to dump the energy okay into uh, the output, in this case, the output load, so that the energy is recycled instead of being uh, burned up. Uh, the, so you would think it's a very simple circuit. We've taken out a resistor, we've added two diodes and a capacitor in their place. Well, it turns out that it becomes a very, very interesting uh, design problem to understand how this circuit works, and this is rather, rather common amongst these energy recoveries. The first thing I do is go on over here and I will put down then the voltage and current waveform. So for each of the time intervals, all 13 of the time intervals, in order to make sense out of how the circuit works and what all these waveforms actually mean in here, what's necessary is to actually create a small circuit drawing which represents the active components during each time interval. So as we see over here, we have 13 time intervals, all right? So we need 13 drawings. And so here's a, a set of sketches, one after the other, okay? All the way through until you've completed one full switching cycle and you're ready to start again. And of course, you need some additional information like initial conditions and so forth. Okay? The voltages on capacitors and currents and inductors and that sort of thing. So. What, uh, what we'll do in the book to explain how this circuit works, and of course to explain how to design the circuit, is we'll actually go through and use each one of these little sketches to explain how the circuit is actually performing or working during that particular time interval. And by going through the full sequence, you'll be able to see exactly how this circuit works. And, uh, and to hopefully be able to design it. And all that information is part of chapter five. This is one example that'll be included in there.